Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I show about how to implement search option in Android application. Uh, it's mainly based on API search option. Okay, so let's show code. So firstly, I show XML file here. So first, I show fragment search. In fragment search, I show the preview of this app. This here is the item list which you showed. This item have an a uh, different different identity which I showed in search bar. So I it, this is the button where I clicked. Okay, so here I use frame layout. Then okay layout white and layout height mass friend uh, then linear layout and edit text this edit text indicate the search here this this option okay then i use list view that's the list view and button okay button and then the progress bar progress bar when i click the item on search bar then it will be take some time which run with progress bar okay then the item search in item search there is text view and it's also text view this text view will indicate name and it's indicate company and it's indicate type okay then i show the activity main xml in activity main xml i just use frame layout and here I use relative layout then the padding bar to bottom top right left and right is 16 db okay that means here is this 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 portion is 16 db okay here the space now I show the product java file here I class create a class product and here I take ID name company type from and packing then those are code written based on this okay have public void set company and another also written then I show the search fragment in the search fragment extends fragment okay then this the edit text where firstly I show the item here okay this time here is the search edit that's the search edit and list to search then product list search adapter and progress layout then I use those identity after this I use public void on search button click okay on search button click means here the where this button when I clicked here the search option will be short here okay in this space then I override this method and get this then search tax class another class created and the string background also here then protected void post execute try json here i use json data and json array then i use this and here is the api list and here you should use your url okay here should must use your url otherwise the code will be code run but your list will be not run okay so then you should use some dependencies for this app so here is the dependencies okay and is sdk version is 23 so after this you should need an internet permission so this permission is take must so thank you everyone
see you in next in next tutorial